Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Moto E first generation to stock Android step by step. Let's get started. Alright guys, and uh, to download, to downgrade to the stock Android, so first of all, go ahead and open the Google Chrome. So when you first open the Google Chrome, so go to the li this link, fmware.center, so link in the description. And uh, once you go to this link, you will probably see all the files. Then click on the Moto E first generation stock. So as you can see, there are a lot of model numbers is available depending on the carriers and retail versions based on different countries. Select your one of your models. So my variant is dual SIM variant, which is a model number comes as XT1022. So when I open that folder, so now we can see the files that are uh, supported my model number. So. Uh, you can see there is a lot of options is available. So right now I want to downgrade my device to Android 4.4 KitKat, so which is a very good use. So you can also even downgrade your mobile to Android 5.1. So for my convenience, I'm using I like KitKat more than Lollipop. So anyway, so as you can see, the file has been downloaded successfully. As you can see, the zip file, and uh, now you can also download the script file from the link in the description, so which is a very useful tool and helps to flash the uh, stock ROM on your device. So as you can see, when I right-click on Edit on those batch script files, so you can see a bunch of commands that I nested together, which is used to flash. Uh, during the process so anyway you can close that one so now make sure the two files that you placed on should be in the same folder so then go ahead and right click on your retail version or whatever the version that you download to downgrade your motor device and extract all the files onto the same folder now as you can see successfully extracted so once all the files is extracted now you can see there is a lot of files that has been uh, present onto your folder so we don't know link we, we no longer need the uh, zip file so you can delete it zip file so these are the files that we extracted and uh, anyway so this is a uh, step we done so the second step is what we're gonna do is we need to uh, download the uh, two software files which is a Motorola device manager and obviously it is a driver which helps you to communicate your mobile device and computer together so install it and I already installed it I'm not gonna be installed right now so then after that we need ADB and fast boot so which is the main tool helps to flash the stock ROM to your Motorola device so as you can see there's a software file so which is a minimal ADB and fast boot go ahead and download it and run it on your computer so when you are uh, run the file so click on the next and next now we can see the destination location of the ADB and fast boot so I recommend you to copy the uh, address location of that uh, uh, folder so where the ADB and fastboot are installing on your system so then click on next and continue the installation so once it's installed so do not launch the minimum fastboot now and then what we're gonna do is right click on your computer or the PC whatever you want and then click on the properties when you click on the properties you can see this window so then here you click on the advanced system settings once you click on the advanced system settings, that might gonna be a prompt into another window. So then you can you can see at the end of the page, you can see environment variables. Click on the environment variables. When you click on environment variables, another dialog box comes up. And same time system variables. Under the system variables, select, uh, type keyboard a path and uh, edit it. Okay. When you edit it, that will gonna be so uh, bring a small kind of the box. Now at the uh, last line, so you need to add a semicolon under the variable value section. Then Control V to paste the address location of ADB and Fastboot. And what does this do is uh, it allows you to access the ADB and Fastboot uh, commands and try your system using the command prompt. Uh, no matter where, or, no matter at what directory you are, you can just simply press the ADB. So that will work. So if I press the ADB on my command prompt, so as you can see, that gives me a lot of information about those commands. At the same time, if I type the command fastboot, the same thing goes on. So which means the ADB and fastboot are ready now on your PC. So now we can see it's all working correctly. So then go ahead and connect your mobile phone to the computer. So as you can see, my Motorola Moto E is running on Android 6.0 Marshmallows based on CyanogenMode 13. So stay tuned to my channel. So I'm going to be posting the video how to install it officially. 
and many users are getting a problem installing it so anyway after that so go ahead and turn off your device and uh, when you turn your device and we need to put your device into the uh, fast boot mode so what we need how to put the fast boot mode so this is very simple so hold the volume down at the same time and power together so and let the keys go on for four seconds so now we can see the device is in the fast boot mode so when the device is in the fast boot mode go ahead and connect your usb cable to the mobile phone so when you connect the usb cable on your phone you can see the message called usb so which means the computer and mobile device are communicating each other using the drivers so whatever it might be so back to the computer so on your back to your computer go ahead and run the uh, script file so which we, where we extracted all the stock firmware so now immediately as you can see it's flashing the uh, stock ROM to my Motorola device and this probably gonna be take a lot of time I mean around a five minutes uh, from my point of view so I don't know exactly how much time will take you of your device so anyway I will be right back with you once it's done. Alright guys, and uh, now you can see my device is booting up. So you can remove your USB cable and uh, now as you can see it's almost there and it's done. Now we can see the welcome screen of the stock Android 4.4 KitKat. That's it and that's very really simple of a downgrading your Motorola Moto E first generation to the stock Android. So I hope you like this video. So if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button down there and that helps the channel. And as always, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next my video.